Welcome to uh, lesson three in my Swing in the Blues series, and in this one we're going to look at um, Ronnie Earl's take on the T-Bone Boogie, kind of an essential tune in the, in the jump swing repertoire, and Ronnie's version of this tune is just killing it, and there's a live clip of it up on YouTube, just search T-Bone Boogie, I think it comes up first, uh, and it's kind of like one of those transcendent performances, the band is swinging like crazy, and and uh, play it on uh, half speed. There's a setting on YouTube. You can put it on half speed. And you can everyone is just so ridiculously in the zone in that video, and the the lines and phrasing are just really uh, insane and re really tasty. So I thought it'd be a good um, exploration to to dive into. It definitely was a big influence on me. If you're into the full lesson package, we're going to cover both solos that you heard in the intro. Uh, 24 bars of rhythm ideas, analysis of both solos, or breakdowns of both solos. It'll come with the interactive tab player and then um, two jam tracks. One at full speed, which is 210 beats per minute, and then one at, um, at like three-quarter speed. Um, yeah, and all that stuff. So that's the link underneath the video. But here we'll jump into the, the intro. Um, I'm, you know... Ronnie's obviously playing a strat on this. I'm playing a strat. I've got my uh, pickup set to the middle, middle position. Um, I think it cuts nicely. It's kind of um, nice and bitey uh, without being too, um, too trebly. It's sort of a little warm still. Um, and so that's about it. So we basically open up with... Right? This kind of classic uh, T-bone intro to this tune. And I encourage you to learn the different variations of the intro, like T-Bone does a slight different variation, but we'll, I'll digress into that in a moment. But here, we basically have this. That's the first riff, so we're going pick up, so five, six, thinking, coming you know, off of the one chord, so we're going to five, six, root, double stop so then we have the, this double stop with our pinky on the uh, ninth fret of the high E ring finger on the eighth fret of the B right and then grabbing the root on the sixth fret of the high E first time and then we have this little accent so in in my track I didn't do it with the drum breaks and, and the intro and everything like that I just kept it simple because I didn't want to spend a ton of time editing and stuff like that. Um, but if you were doing this with a, a band, you might want to break it up that way where the guitar is playing the intro and the band is accenting on that, you know, on that upbeat. So on that right there. And what that is is basically just a B flat six chord. So uh, root, major third, six with your pinky on the eighth fret of the B and then the high E uh, and then the sixth fret of the high E on the top. Right? The whole band. Bop. So the second time very much the same but we have this sort of just a sort of a slide off. And then the downbeat of the tune comes in on the four chord, right? Because this is an intro covering four bars of the one. But, um, and so let me show you what that downbeat is. It comes in on this double stop, which is the eighth fret of the B and the eighth fret of the high E. Okay, which is the major third of the four chord, E flat, and the, major, and the, and the sixth of, of the E flat. So that's where we're coming in, but there's a little pickup before then that I think is really 
kind of cool and, and really um, something it's kind of like a little detail but it, it, it adds a lot to it so on the second time <laughs> So we have this little double stop again um, on the and of three. So we're sliding off one, and two, and three, and then into the downbeat. So see if you can hear it. It's hard to count and play and talk it all at the same time. So here it is. Two, three. Okay, so then. Then we have that on the downbeat. So uh, one and so it'd be one, and two, and three, right on the downbeat. I'm gonna play the whole intro one more time over. Right there. And that's kind of cool to take note of because oftentimes, you know, when we're hit, we're covering that four chord with a double stop, it's, it's this one because that's such a perfect double stop for the four chord. It's got the three and seven in there, major third and seven on top. But uh, Ronnie in this case picks the three and the six, which kind of gives it a real a sweeter feel, and then goes to the seven. So let's look at that. So that's the first move. We play that double stop on B and high E of the uh, A fret, and then we have we have we pick the A fret of the high E alone, and then we do hammer on, pull off, and land on that major third. So okay, and then to kind of give the ear, the ear some variation, we go. So here's that whole, four. so what we're doing the second time is bringing that same double stop, basically just moving our, our the six up to the seven there on the high E. So we have, um, here's the whole thing on the four chord. Do not be afraid to experiment with picking back here. Of course, on a strat, you know, T-Bone did a lot of that to kind of give these different textures and different uh, percussive sounds to his playing. And Ronnie, of course, absorbed a lot of that, uh, those ideas too, into his playing. You hear a lot of that too. So um, this gives it that real real kind of uh, almost out of phase sound so anyway we have and then we, we're coming back to the one chord we have great phrase really really simple <laughs> just walking up Root, five, four, sliding in major third into the root. Right? Just outlining major B flat major chord. Um, and then almost BB esque uh, on the on the on the back half. So we have the second part of that is we're outlining the the lower octave of the same chord. So slide into the major third, root, four, major third, with a little pull off to give it a little feeling, you know. And then for the turnaround, uh, we have, you know, we're thinking in this case, probably two, five, one. Um, turn around so the riff is real simple just straight ahead eighth fret with your ring finger pull off back to that eighth fret eight so pull off to the seven pick the eighth fret again and then grab that um, 
sixth fret of the B. So also good to pick back here for this kind of thing. Gives it nice, nice sound. Um, um, and what is that thinking in, ref in relative to the two chord? We're basically pedaling from seven to six, seven, and then landing on on our the root of our five, which is the F, right? Okay, and in this case, just in terms of what we're thinking about for this riff, so all right, so let me just play that one more time. And that's um, we're, I'll play the riff, then I'll, I'll explain it. We're grabbing the sixth fret of the B, uh, then the eighth fret of the G, back to the sixth fret of the B, slide into the seventh fret of the G, pick up the um, eighth fret, that B flat note of the D, and then the sixth fret of the D, back to the eighth fret. Okay, and we're not so much thinking there, like sometimes one, you know, we think different ways when we're outlining chords or implying different chords over a basic blues. And in this context, I'm not really thinking, just to a little backstory, I'm not thinking of outlining the five chord. I might have thought to land on the five chord root on the downbeat to give it that real punctuation of, okay, yes, I know I'm playing the five chord here. But then, because we're transitioning back to the one, I'm just saying, screw it, I'm thinking in terms of the one chord again, bringing me back home in terms of a resolution. And you can do that uh, in a lot of cases, so you don't have to constantly be implying the changes so literally. You can weave back into kind of thinking in more of a blues context and a, a more of a jazz context where you're actually outlining changes and, and that sort of stuff. So in this case, the riff is very blues based. Right? So um, let's take it from, let's take it all the way back. Uh, from when we come out of the four chord. And so we'll just recycle that and, and, and go through that one more time. So here it goes. Uh. <laughs> okay, so that gets us right up to the, uh, the turnaround at that point. So, and then we have... Last little note of it at the end. So here it is again. Okay, because that's going to lead us into in the next section. So here's that turnaround again. Sliding into the major third, grabbing the five and then the, the root on top, walking down from seven, six, five. Bending a quarter step uh, on that four on the seventh fret of I'm oh, sorry eighth fret of the G. Pull off on the eight to the six. Then eight to eight of the D and G strings. Root minor third. Here it is very slow one more time. One more time. Okay. So there you have it. Um, any questions or if you want to post a video of yourself playing through the sequence, I, I would welcome it or comments, whatever, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, it was fun for me putting this lesson together because it was one of those really key um, passages for me and Ronnie's a, a real big uh, influence or just someone I try to get closer to in my playing. So um, I hope you like it and uh, now we'll groove out on the rhythm part.